I think one of the most unique aspects of this park is the longer you stay and the more you kind of look at what's going on, the weirder it gets. <laughs> in Vondel Park in the middle of Amsterdam on the hottest day of the year so far. So we decided to get out, ride around, take in the shade because it's too hot in our apartment, and of course get some food and drinks. Blazing hot today in Amsterdam. As I mentioned, hottest day of the year. It's supposed to be close to almost 90 today. That's well over 30 degrees Celsius. One of the biggest things that Americans who live in Europe, I think, complain about, rightfully so, is the lack of air conditioning all over this continent. Including inside of our apartment. It's tough. So, so we want to come stand outside in the sun. I don't know why, but this is dumb. we're getting out. Vondel Park, massive park in the center of Amsterdam. I think that Vondel Park to Amsterdam is like Central Park is to New York City. So it's right in the middle. It's kind of a hub for everybody that comes to visit here and lives here. Like you see a mix of everything here. And Tourists, locals, aliens. Dogs, cats, giraffes. There's giraffes here? Maybe. Lies. I think first thing we're gonna do, there's a very famous Picasso designed statue here in the park mm -hmm. called the fish, but it's not actually a fish. So this is Picasso's um, something bird, I believe. Something <laughs> they bird. They call it the fish. Dutch people call it the fish, is that what you mean? I just think, call it the fish? I think locally it's just known as the fish because at a glance, I believe this sort of looks like the tail of a fish, even though the feet would clearly indicate bird. It could be like some abstract, like, you know, fins or something though. No, it's a bird. Picasso designed it all small and then some sculptor guy who he worked with on other stuff apparently made it nice and big uh, and it was given to the park around its 100th birthday, 1965. I hope you guys all appreciate how accurate our research is. And thorough. And the sculptor guy, you know, shout out to you. Shout out to the sculptor guy. Yeah. I think his name is Carl. Yeah. But just so you guys know, we do extensive research on our videos. Thanks, Carl. So, Carl. Yeah. Carl. The fish, Picasso, here in Vondel Park. I think it looks like a bird. I'm gonna go with bird. I agree, it's a bird. It's a googly-eyed bird. Great googly moogly. And don't worry, I don't have a skirt on. It's a squirt. <laughs> it's the coolest thing ever. 90s throwback. Nate doesn't understand, but all my millennial females out there, you get it. So Vondel Park is like, a little bit of everything. There's yoga going on. There's dude doing like, what is that, Tai Chi? Something, with some really cool music that he was using. It's like he's gonna go fight. A lot of exercise, outdoor exercise classes. A um, lot of weed smoking. Definitely the place to come. They smoke the weed here. I don't do weed. <laughs> Picnics, walking with their puppy dogs. There's two miles of paved road around the park. So you can like just do laps on your bike for exercise. You can run if you're a psychotic person. Whatever you want. Well, I think the reason, at least why I like Vondel Park, like to ride your bike and stuff, is because it's a little more secure, if you will. Like you're not riding out on the street where there's trams and taxis and cars and pedestrians. That in here, it's kind of sequestered. There is rollerblader guy though. There's always rollerblader guy. <laughs> So there's also an open air theater right in the middle of the park here and they do things especially throughout the summer when it's nice weather obviously. So today they're doing some classical music, there's a comedy show later and then I think they're wrapping it up with a Latin musical festival. So a little bit of everything for everybody. Cool thing to come check out if you want to just kind of sit outside in the nice weather and enjoy some live music. We were going to go check out this gazebo and go get some cool shots in the gazebo but it is. Locked, locked up and closed, so whatever. We'll go get lunch instead. Can you imagine the people that just would like probably trash it though if it wasn't like closed? Park looks pretty clean today. It actually does surprisingly for a nice a weather Sunday. Yeah, because usually Saturday there's a lot of trash. Things happen on Saturday nights. They do a good too. job cleaning it up quickly. Yeah, they do. The 
there's multiple places in the park that you can come and kind of get a little reprieve from the heat. You can get some drinks, get some snacks, full on meal. And so one of those places that we're going to try today is the Blau Tea House. It's terrible, Blue Tea House basically, behind me here. So everyone always wants to eat outdoors here, which why wouldn't you in weather like this? So if we have a reservation where we have an outdoor table booked for us and we can go feed this guy because he's starving. So we made a reservation for the upstairs area and they were still getting set up, which is perfect because we are one of only two other people up here right now. A little terrace to ourselves. The city is a pretty late start city, so give this another two, three hours and it'll be packed with people. But not right now. One thing that drives me crazy at a lot of restaurants in the Netherlands is they will not bring you tap water. They want to charge you for bottles of water. Just build it into the price of whatever you're doing so I can have free water. It drives me crazy. Here at the Blau Tea House, free tap water. The tap water is really good here. Give it to me. I'll order a drink. I will certainly order a drink. Even places where you order a drink will not bring you water sometimes, especially if you're a tourist or a vlogger. The Blau Tea House is actually kind of like a secondary location of the Aish Brewery. I love, love, love the Aish Brewery. It has a big windmill there. They brew all of their beers there. It's just a really cool kind of Amsterdam experience. We went with the spicy margarita pizza, so spicy salami on the top. Looks pretty good. And then some sort of sausage that we were questionable on, but it actually looks like it might be pretty decent. Spicy mayo on the side because we don't really like mayo, but sometimes if there's some ingredients in there that make it spicy, I might dabble in it. Yeah, not too bad. How's your lunch? It's not bad. It's not the best lunch I've ever had, but it's not the worst. I think being outdoors and in the nice weather kind of makes up for that. The bread, like the crust on this pizza is really good. The salami is really good. The sausage is questionable. Um, Nate just said it tastes like bologna. I pride myself in the fact that I've never had bologna in my life, so I cannot confirm or deny that that is in fact the case, but I'll take his word for it. I quite like the pizza. I think it's better than average. Uh, the cheese is, is fantastic. The crust is, it's almost like a sourdough crust. Texture's nice, tastes great. <laughs> Similar to pepperoni, the salami. The sausage sandwich, not really my jam. I'm picky when it comes to sausages and that's like Dutch bologna. The ambiance, it's nice. I have to say there's this weird, like, every now and then when I get a whiff of cigarette smoke, it's like a comforting thing. It reminds me of Las Vegas. Because I used to love going to Las Vegas. So sometimes I smell it and I'm like, oh, Vegas. Gross. I know, that's disgusting. But it's like one of those like triggers that when I first started going to Vegas as a 20, well, younger than that, you know, you could smoke like all over the place. Now it's a lot different. They're not going to do meth in the park. Maybe they are. Oh, they are. Uh, sports thing behind us. There's a there's a football game going on. I thought it was funny too when we first moved here. Like they call going to the gym doing sports. Sporting. I'm like oh, did you sports today? Did you go sporting? I'm like, well, I went to the gym. I went sporting. Gesundheit. Ah. Yeah. I helped them when they kicked the ball across the road, but I almost ran into a bicyclist, and when I threw the ball to them, I almost took out another bicyclist. I was trying to help. <laughs> it could have been bad. I missed all of that because I was looking at the the map. The map. Oh no! Here they come. <laughs> Let's go. That guy's going pro. I think one of the most unique aspects of this park is the longer you stay. And the more you kind of look at what's going on, the weirder it gets. <laughs> you hear that?
hear that? Yeah, yeah. What do I hear? Do you hear that? No. What am I listening for? Come here. Mystery. There's a mystery. What are we listening It for? stopped. It was right there. Is it an animal? These are, these are gonna be sunflowers eventually. Is it an animal? Oh my god, it's so hot out here, you guys. What were you listening for? I don't know. I what? I don't know what I was listening for. I just heard a sound. Oh, I thought you knew what it was. I play loud music. I'm deaf. I know you're deaf. It's, it's like. like some kind of insect, I'm sure. Uh, we're here, uh, still in Vondel Park. Clearly, uh, we're at the statue of Joost van den Vondel, who the park is named after. He was a poet, Katrina. Did he know it? I'm sure he did. Is that a dead pigeon? <gasps> oh no, it is. It's like sacrifice. Like someone made a sacrifice for the Vondel statue. I'm not gonna show the dead pigeon on the vlog, but there's like a dead pigeon laying at the foot of... RIP, pigeon. Hair looks great. It doesn't. That's okay. Uh, so this dude came from Cologne, uh, but he did a bunch of poetry <laughs> here, and they named the park after him. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Vondel. Poetry like haikus? No, like long form. Or like stories and called it poetry? Yeah, it was back in the old days, back in like the 1500s. This guy lived a long time though. I read that he lived like well over 80 years. That's pretty long for back in the day. Back in the day. 15th century or whatever you said. Yeah. 15th, 16th century, I think. Good for you, Mr. Joost van den Vondel. Your park is great. People it enjoy it. Weird sometimes, but overall. RIP pigeon. Nate doesn't think that's a dinosaur. He said crocodile. It's not a crocodile. It's 100%. There's a dinosaur in Vondel Park, you guys. At least he's in the water where it's cooler. <laughs> Normally I think animals love me, but I don't think this goose is gonna love me. You missed the clown on the bicycle, Katrina. It was a clown on a bicycle? I mean, everyone on a bicycle is kind of a clown. If you, if you watch this episode of our vlog, you'll be able to see the clown. Like a legit, like face painted clown? Oh yeah, green hair, the whole. See what I mean? The longer you're here, the weirder it gets. Non-stop entertainment, like seriously. She's standing on a rock to be taller than me right now. Look at this nonsense. See what you do? You're trying to make me look short. I'm almost taller than you. Still busy up despite the warmth. We have, <laughs> we have shown you the length of Vondel Park. There's lots of little ins and outs. There's lots of places to tuck yourself away, read a book. Take a nap. Take a nap, sunbathe. Weed, a lot of eat, yeah. drink, um, fornicate. Apparently that's allowed. Apparently that's allowed, we read that. Um, the Rose Garden for some of you. But we're gonna go find some ice cream. You need something to cool me down. That's right, because you're so hot. <laughs> We found an ice cream shop that is pretty close to where Vondel Park is. Not where we were originally going to go, but we've been wanting to try this place. I think it's called Aj Cupje, so like cup of ice cream. And it gets really good reviews. I think they have a couple locations around the city. So we're gonna try it and cool down and just relax a little bit. No more sweaty. <laughs> I still know you're looking. I got caramel sea salt, which I always go for, and caramel cookie something. I don't know. Vanilla caramel. There was caramel in the name. Vanilla caramel cookie, something like that. And so you can see there's like little pieces of cookies in there. The caramel sea salt is extremely soft, which is why she recommended putting it on top, which she was correct. It's cooling me down a little bit. I'll take it. I got apple tart ice cream, which is quite tasty. I like the brightness of the apple. It's good summertime flavor. And then some sort of pecan, caramel, something, something. It's a very nice way to end this very hot day. Hottest day in Amsterdam 2023. Doing our best. 